Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to open a text file and unencrypt it in Visual Basics 2008. Alright, to first, first of all, if you haven't seen my other tutorial, make sure you read it because it's got how to encrypt and write to a text file, so yeah. Alright, start off, we have to add another button. Let's call this button eh, decrypt or something. Easy. So decrypt. Alright. So now we've got to do this code, which is basically the same as that. We need a dim oops, file as new. Now this bit's different. So we've got system, which is the same, IO, which is the same. Now we have to go stream reader. Then we've got to put where. Now we have to put what. Um, text document you want to read from so I want to put this which is the one we wrote to in the last tutorial all right so now we need to dim um, another outcome as another yeah because um, now we need to dim a and B and C again this is for this is for the unencryption thing. So now we've got to make a equal um, one, b equal two, c equal three, because that's what they equal here. Then we got to let's just get rid of the YouTube one. I can't be stuck doing it. All right. Now we got our, got that. Now it's basically, what we do is, we go, use basically use that, yeah. Oh, we've got to do another string, dim. Um, let's go, file text as string. All right, so we've got to go, file text equals, a uh, file dot read to end, which will read the whole text document and store it in file dot file text as the string. All right, now it's really easy. We go outcome equals replace, and then we got to re got to like the expression, which will be outcome. Now it's a bit different. We need to do file text because that's where the strings from the file is saved and now we've got to replace, replace it as A so it's unencrypted alright so then B and C get easy uh, used before and has yeah anyway um now we've got to I think that's it. All right, and then we want it to display in a message box. So message box equals I was going outcome. Oops. All right, so that's it. Let's try it. Let's decrypt. Oop. Uh. Um, I'll be back. I'll just pause it and have a look for the error. Okay, I found out what our problem was. It was the outcome string. You can just delete that now and change outcome, like all the outcomes in this area of text, button 2, to file text. Yeah, so that'll do. So, yeah, I fixed it, so I'm happy now. Um, Basically the same as that, except it decrypts it. So, if you play it, it should work. So let's encrypt A, B, C. It should come out one space two space three. And local disk something. As you can see, it's encrypted here one two three. And if we go to play this thing again, and we go decrypt, the message box will come up and display A, B, C. See, easy. 
But if you're really smart, which we are, aren't we? We'll um, make it display in a text box, which is easy. But it'll make us look intelligent. Put this down a bit. Add another text box. You can also make these multi-lined and everything, but I just can't be stuffed at the moment. So text box 2 and all that. And you just go decrypt and you go, you just go file text um, equals your file text equals text box 2 dot text. So let's try it. Uh -oh. Or it must be the other way around. I haven't really experimented with this. So. Don't blame me. Yay! See? Comes out as A, B, C there. So it will encrypt it as A, A, B, 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 C, C. Encrypt. And then let's delete that and decrypt it. See? And we could make even smarter, we can do an if statement like if text box two dot text is equal to let's go with a let's go a a b b c c as a password then password passed. Mm -hmm. Something like that. And else wrong password. That's how programs encrypt um their thing is so replay it. If you go it's A A B B C C encrypted in the thing. Decrypt password passed. Alright. That's been my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And just wait for more to come out, which we'll soon probably. Alright, signing off. See ya.